welcome back to my channel this is Annette thank you so much for tuning in today we're going to be putting this bead cap on this beautiful tassel and creating a necklace with it and I think it, we just better start off by uh, creating how we're going to hold this in place uh, the, unfortunately these kinds of tassels this is not strong enough to hold this in place when you put it with wire usually you just put a jump ring through it and they hang and you're done with them but i don't trust them because i've had a couple of them that have broken halfway through the project so i don't trust that so i'm going to try to put something through here and then i'm going to wrap it around so what i'm trying to say is just grab yourself at least two three inches of this because you're not going to need more than that okay and you're going to try to put it push it through here it's going to be a little bit hard because there's wires in the way but you can definitely pull it to the other side and if that happens just cut it that's not a big thing you're not gonna you know lose a lot from doing that oops there we go i'll have scissors with me but anyway pass it through come up okay because you're gonna grab that come up and like if you're gonna cross it you're just gonna wrap this bottom part I don't want to wrap it too much I just want to create a loop to hook it in so this is probably too much uh, wire so let's just cross it in place okay I'll leave this one up like that this one's gonna cross over and you can use your hands to do this it's not a big deal that's all I want just a little just to cross it right there okay you want to make it as close there you go as low as you can do it and then i'm going to cut this wire right here and i'm going to squeeze this in here okay and then that's where i want to put my bead cap at this point you see how that looks really good in there at this point before you do this i suggest cut this um, if you want to put some glue there you can but I would say just cut this in the place that it is um, not too close so you don't you know damage the knot but just cut it right there a little bit and then just let it be because you're not going to use anything else in there so you put this on and then we're just going to wrap this around and I'm going to leave myself give myself quite some room because I want to create a, a nice wrap there And I want that loop. I don't want that loop to be too big, but I do want it to be nice enough to where I'm going to put thread this through. And then you're just going to grab this and you can start wrapping. Make it as close as you can. It's going to go all the way down. It's going to push that bail down. I mean that bead cap. I keep saying bail, but well, the little bead cap, bail, whatever you want to call it. Not a bail. A bail is something different, but a bead cap. Keep going. Keep going. Keep pushing. Pushing down. There you go. I think that's good because I want some movement in there. I don't want it to be stiff. So that should be good enough just to keep it in place. And then I'm going to squeeze that in there so it doesn't hurt anything and that's how I created my uh, my tassel this is the decoration that's gonna go on my necklace that's so cute I love that okay so that we have now set so we're gonna set this aside and I'm gonna bring out a couple of beads um, that I'm gonna string I'm gonna put some chain on this and I'm thinking of using all of these. I'm not sure yet, but I might just do something like that. I could hang some this from here and it would look really pretty. And then I can put, um, you know, just bring it across. You know, you can do many things. I like this bead. I like these. So I'll see what I'm gonna do. So let me start moving all these things to the side. And let's start thinking about what we can do. I think I like this necklace, this these beads. Um, I might put a couple of beads here and here. 
or maybe these right here or maybe something here this would have been cool I could have done that I didn't think about it but that would have been cool to see it's kind of cute something different but I already I already have that so I don't want to ruin it with that and I like these I could just do some type of a chain link with this let's see how that turns out if I do a little chain link I have a little piece of metal left here so let me grab my round nose pliers Just linking them together. Let me take some of these out. See how that would look. Let's see here. Just bend this here. This is too long. That's cute. Let's do that. Okay. I want to start putting a couple of these together and I'm going to chain them and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have made a couple of these I could put uh, I could put them together or I could put a jump ring in between them so it doesn't really matter uh, if you want more movement you can do a jump ring if not I'll show you how to well I think I'm going to do them without the jump ring so let's just do that I'm just going to open this one right here front to back I'm going to put this one through here close it there's one, and here's my other one that I'm doing. Put it on the opposite side, and then close it front to back. Remember, there we go. That's gonna look cute. And then my next one, This time front to back put it in there we go and make it straighter there we go so I think that looks so cute so I think I want to do uh, three on this side and three on this side and then I'm going to come back there we go oh that's looking so pretty you know what I was thinking I was gonna make I was gonna put some um, I still can put some of these beads in here I think that's gonna look super cute okay I'm gonna do the same technique as I did on this which is like that rosary technique for these and I'm just gonna guesstimate you know how much I'm gonna need it doesn't have to be perfect but I want these down instead of up or should I do them up I think up is gonna look pretty so let's do that it's just gonna go here these are turquoise I'm gonna bend it I think that's too long there we go gotta hold it in place because this will move if you don't hold it in place there you go that's cute then I'm gonna do this side and again I think that's a little bit too long and we're gonna close it here I think it's gonna turn out super nice okay then I'm gonna open this here and put this one in okay. 
Look how cute. That looks adorable. Oh, that is cute. I think I'm going to repeat the same thing I did here. I'm going to repeat over here all the way to the top. Um, and I'm going to use as many beads as I can. I'm trying to put some of these in there. So I think if, if I go halfway through and I do, let's say three more, this will be the next bead I would put there. I think that's going to look pretty. My only concern, oh, you know what I can definitely do is let me prepare this bead right here for you guys so you can see what I'm going to do. And then this is the whole thing we're going to be creating through the necklace. Once we get to this part right here, for the rest of them, this is all going to be the same. Okay? But let me show you what I will do with these beads. I think these are so pretty. Okay. So what I am going to do is I'm going to grab me some wire and I'm going to say... Um, let's say... I'm going to cut it and I'm going to show you the approximate size and I'm just eyeballing this. This is, doesn't have a perfect measurement. We might have extra, but this is going to be three and a quarter inch. Okay. And I think that's going to be too big, but I just want to make sure I have the right thing. So I'm going to put one, I'm going to put this one because this hole is really big. And then I'm going to put a second bead over here just like that and I'm gonna create my own thing and then like I mentioned to see how much wire I grabbed a two inch wire would have been perfect I don't think there was any need for that but it's okay you live and you learn there we go so there's one and then I'm going to try to make sure this is there uh, pinched in there because I don't want those beads moving. So I'm putting pressure here so this doesn't move out of place. Okay. Putting pressure to bend this right here. And you see how much we had left over? So you don't want to have that. So next time I'm just going to do one and a half, maybe, maybe two inches on that. Okay. There we go. Get it where you want it. Okay. So then this is what's going to go up here. In the meantime, I'm going to do the same thing right here. Okay. Let me see if this little piece that I had left over will work for it. I think it's going to be too short, but yeah, that's going to be too short. Just try not to waste wire. There we go. I'm going to use that one for there. And use this one for this one right here. Whoopsie. Where are you going? I'm going somewhere. There we go. that's going to look so pretty. I think that's going to look really pretty. Okay, let's do this side. And I'm going to do the same thing repeated here. And then I'm going to do this on the rest of it. So I'll be back. Okay, so I have finished and put all the links in here. It turned out to be so gorgeous. So now I'm going to do just a little closure, like a little clasp here. See how this one's longer than this one? That's going to be just fine because I'm going to put a little jump ring here and I'm going to make the clasp on this side so it ends up being the perfect size for it. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a little curly Q, a little, little bit of a loop here. Okay. Just like that. I'm going to grab 
a little looper if you have it you can use this side but if you don't have it you can use your round nose pliers like these put it over here okay at the end and just twist it to the other side you see it there and then right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another curly Q out let me show you what I'm just like that okay and then I'm gonna snip this right here I'm gonna close this side and if I had a little hammer I would definitely um, hammer this because it would look really pretty hammered so this is the side that's going to go right here and this is going to be your closure does that make sense right there so what i'm going to do is i have a jump ring right here which i'm going to use for this side so i have where to put my actual closure through okay there we go and I have a little teeny tiny jump ring right here, which I'm going to use for this side. And then I want to close it. I mean, and you can get really elaborate with the closure here, but I think I don't need anything more than this. Although this is big enough, um, the the necklace is big enough to where you can just put it around your head and be done with it okay look how pretty that turned out i know you can't see very well because this is a white background but i'm going to move all this stuff and i'm going to show you let me move this aside i don't want those metals on my floor so i'm going to have to close this and yes this is just a napkin it's not a big deal I'm gonna put it right here look at this look how pretty this turned out I have my tassel my straggler look how cute I have my turquoise my accent beads and then my little closure that turned out to be so pretty look at that gorgeous I'm gonna put it like this so you can see it all well you guys i really hope that you enjoy this video and until next time god bless